Hello guys, welcome back to today's video. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna show you guys back to school makeup tutorial with this look right here. It was super easy, and I used all drugstore makeup. I know, except for the eyebrows and setting spray. But other than that, it was all drugstore. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see how to get this look continue watching but before you do that don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell on the notification get notified every time I post a video and like the video and let's get started and reality things and yes I did my brows off camera because I feel like filling in your brows are a board fest I just use my ABH brow define brow not ABH benefit goof proof and some clear brow gel and all right now we're gonna jump in to priming our face so today I'm gonna use this elf poreless putty primer and my hands are breaking out more and more since i have atopic um dermatitis i'm just going to use a flat brush like this to bring my brush in here so for a makeup look for school um we're going to keep it super light and natural you don't have to prime, but I feel like if you wanna, if you have pores and you wanna cover those bad boys up, for sure, go in with a poreless primer. It works. And then I'm gonna go with my Makeup Revolution Hydration Primer because I am going in with the matte primer today since Elf went wild, changed up their game and change the original to a matte, since I'm dewy and matte. I'm just gonna use the same brush, but they change up their product, which I didn't know that until I ordered it. I'm like, why is it matte? I did not know that. Elf changed up their Elf, um, concealer too, so. All right, and I'm gonna go on the sponge to blend this all in. Just to make sure it's blended. So for a day to school, so I'm more thinking of like high school, college. I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and it's the matte one in caramel. And I'm just gonna apply this to my face like this. Just a couple swipes, nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of coverage. Just a little bit of coverage. And I'm gonna blend this in. I'm on this in the skin. Nothing too crazy. Like so and these nails are so long. I got my nails done. See, my atopic dermatitis is layering, but Alright, that is all blended. This is optional, but I'm using the L16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish and Tan Neutral because we've been waking up on those early days, getting ready for school, and we got dark circles, we got cover. And I'm also gonna use it on my blemishes to cover up them. I don't really have many on one of my channel. And on my forehead just just certain places you know you can use your finger or a sponge or a brush I'm using a sponge just because my finger I am a nail one so my nail is too long I'm just gonna blend this out but to keep it more natural I'm gonna lightly press on my lids because we still have the veins to show just lightly not too crazy out. Okay, so for this next part, this is completely optional. You can set your entire face with powder and then bronze, or you can do, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me 
and a hundred. It's the translucent one. It is amazing. It comes with a sponge, but I took the sponge out because I don't use it. But I'm gonna set my eyes with this. Just pick it up in a little sponge. Way too much, but oh well. At least I can blend that out with my brush. Just gonna set my T-zone area. I'm gonna take a brush to just wear this excess that I put too much of. I forgot how pigmented that powder is. Jesus. All right, for bronzer. So this is a joke. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and Caramel Toffee. I'm gonna use this shade for my bronzer. And then they have like a banana shade. Which is not very touched by me, by all means. I sometimes use this if I want my bronzer to be like a little bit lighter. I'll mix in that banana powder and make it work sometimes. I don't do that all the time. Nor do I do it often. Ooh. Now, this part, I'm not gonna contour my nails, I'm just gonna put a little bit of color. So I just use a big brush like this and just bronze on my nose. I mean, sorry. I'm gonna hit under my lip. This under eye, I put too much of that powder, so it's like, I feel like I have a stark contrast under my there, and I did it. That wasn't the point, or the plan, I should say. That wasn't the plan. You can definitely skip out on blush if you don't have time. Sometimes I do. But I'm not in school. I used to be in school. I will skip out on blush. But this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. It is so pretty. I like this blush. So I'm not going to skip it today. Just because it's pretty. I will see light hand using this blush. I want a little ham sandwich. Why are my brushes not wanting to go in? Oh. Goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna blow this out. Boom. Goodness! Alright, for highlighter. Again, you can skip around this part. This is the e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter. And it looks like this, and this is in white gold. I'm just gonna use a tapered B36 tapered highlighting brush. Just gonna highlight the cheeks. Not going too crazy. Cause like you don't want people to know. Super cute, super natural. And I'm gonna take a dab over that highlighter. Just the nose. There we go. See, you can't even tell. Oh. Going back in with this bronzer, this is the only thing I'm going to add to my eyeshadow, to my lids, is this bronzer. Having off the excess and blending this in. It looks, it's super pigmented, by the way. So much product that comes off. That goodness. And this is the Fera. Thirty five E brush. It's just a big taper. It's just a big blending brush. And that's all I'm doing for eyes. Well, besides mascara. And I'm gonna curl my lashes. And then my favorite mascara. The Essence Volume Styling Curl and Hold Mascara. It holds and curls your lashes for up to 18 hours. Have I tested that? No. And I just apply some mascara.
All right, mascara is on. Whew. And what I'm going to do is take this e.l.f. highlighter and highlight my inner corner and brow bone. <sighs> Using this Luna Magic brush, I like this brush. It's really good for hiding. Alright, and then I'm going to set my face with some Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Just so that our makeup lasts all day. I'm just going to pat out. powder and then you can leave your lips like this or you can lip, put lip liner on and the gloss and call it a day but I'm just gonna keep it like this because I'm fine with it I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below other videos you guys will get to see and I hope this gives you a general idea on what to do for a back-to-school makeup look but I'll see you next time. Bye.